So it's been like six months, maybe a bit less, the last time that I made a video. And um, this time there's, um, there's, there's a better reason why I haven't created any videos. You know, I've been playing a little bit over, you know, but of Battlefield 4, not a lot. Battlefield 1, the last, you know, month for our year and there. And then the other thing was in boot camp with um, Cameron and Beast. And um, what happened was after two or three months of um, sick bed, my mom passed away earlier the year this year and um, you know so it's been it's been a really tough time um, I moved um, I moved in that time as well a couple of months ago and um, yeah yeah it's been you know been hectic uh, some of you might recall a couple of well it's basically a year and a half ago almost not in not oh, two years ago that my dad passed away and um, you know for those ones who have gone through that but no, you know, it's it's not a nice thing to go through. Another thing that happened basically was um, I got older again. And um, this is my last year before I hit the big 5-0. You know, so what is going to be like for me to officially feel old? I'm not too sure about that. But um, I mean, I'm still young by heart and um, I still love gaming. And um, I want to put more effort into this again. And see, um, you know, if I can at least entertain some of you guys. You know, the reflexes is just getting slower and slower every year. And sometimes there's gaps for two weeks, three weeks that I don't touch the PlayStation. And, you know, every time when I do switch it on, it just gets more difficult to hit straight or to aim and hit certain guys. So in the background here, you'll see me playing a bit of Battlefield 1. And, I mean, it was quite a... Um, you know, and I'm playing on a 180 ping. I've had so many videos discussing this whole thing. Me, South Africa, European servers, 180 ping at least. And it makes it difficult. And the only way for me to play games like, like this, Battlefield 1, for example, on European servers, is to snipe. And a lot of times, you know, when people stand still, I can hit them. Starting to move around, it makes it more difficult. Especially in close quarters, you know, 9 out of 10 fights I will lose because... Um, I'll get killed basically before I hit the guy, you know, once or twice. So it's really difficult. So my go-to game at the moment, Battlefield 1, sniping on European servers. And I love the breakthrough mode, operations mode. Really fun. Um, I don't play the conquest part. But um, yeah, great fun still in 2024, Battlefield 1. What a brilliant game this is. You know, on the boot camp side, I do play a bit with, like I said, with Cameron. And every now and then Beast joins in. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes, you know, a whole heap of sweats in that game as well. You know, there's these young guys just... The movement is ridiculous. I can't keep up with them. Sometimes, I, and that, that servers in South Africa. So I get killed a lot without, you know, they just outmaneuver me. I mean, there, there's no two things about it. But I mean, it's great fun. I love the game part about boot camp. It takes 10 to 15 minutes great fun and I do enjoy that so maybe I'll see and I'll make a video for you guys to see you know how the old geezer is going on games like that it's not just AI there's a lot of normal guys playing and um, normal you know a lot of max level players on that but things like you know the 6v6 and um, you know modes like that that's why I'll never buy the game because I'm just not into it even on the o open weekend sometimes you know just why play one or two on them and it's just not for me. Bootcamp, the TTK feels fine, you know, it's not instantly instant death like it feels on on the normal COD servers. And um, the same as 2042, TTK there feels ridiculous for me as well. And I plan on being around 20, 25, run about there. So 2024, it's just not, you know, I've played it a lot. Um, but it's still not that bit battlefield feeling that I get from the game. So hopefully end of next year, well, they say more or less end of next year when the new battlefield comes out. It will be something that I love to play again. Obviously I can't wait for Delta Force, because the movement there is more realistic and I would, and then it's a slower paced game, so I'll obviously enjoy that more. And when it comes out, I'll be all over that, all over that. I'll definitely play that. And um, I'm, I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. Upgrading from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5, 
I will do that at this stage as well because I think even like um, of some of the war zone, you know, like DMZ, not really DMZ, but things like boot camp, for example, I think it is pushing the limits of the PlayStation 4. You know, a lot of times my maps doesn't render it in, I'm late into the games. You know, even on DMZ, sometimes I get sniped at when um, Beast and Cameron were running around already and I only spawned then and then the guy started sniping me. So that's not always great fun, you know, that part there. But um, that, that's on the table for me to upgrade at a stage to PlayStation 5. So gaming-wise, not a, not, not a lot opening. Um, but I'll try my best to, um, you know, get a video out here and there. And um, I mean, there's always been a, a lot of guys that, that support me no matter what I played. And um, hopefully I can entertain you guys again. You know, just, just think in Battlefield next year, they bring out something like this more again. Oh my goodness. As all of you know, that, that's been my favorite weapon probably in all games that I've played. And I would love to um, to have something similar to that. So, but we'll, we'll see what happens to Battlefield, the next one coming out next year. I've played a bit of Battlefield 4, but Battlefield 4, it just feels worse to play on um, PlayStation 4 and the European servers than in Battlefield 1. For some reason, it's just, you know, I just get killed instantly. To you guys that, that know from PlayStation 3 days, you know, Battlefield 4, when there's cheaters on the server and you get one shot killed, it basically feels like that for me. I have played a, I have played a couple of rounds, you know, decent rounds, but I mean, it's not the way that I was able to maneuver around and, and um, you know, build a score like on PlayStation 3. This is just a totally different thing, but um, maybe I'll bring you a a video on that to show how difficult it is and obviously um, entertaining one to guys that's new on the, on the channel well, I've always stated that I'm not I'm an average player so I can uh, you know hold my hand hold my own basically in, in some gun fights but when it gets to ridiculous movements like um, Call of Duty you know that's just totally crap in my eyes they just outmaneuver me when it gets to gun fights a little further away, you know, not close quarters, then I can stand my own and coming to sniping, I'm not the worst sniper ever. That, that's all I will say on that. So, just to let you guys know, um, I am on the comeback. Comeback part to, to get some videos out to you guys, and um, like I said, you know, um, thanks to all the support, and um, I went onto the channel because I haven't been on my YouTube channel for ages. There's been comments that I haven't replied to, and that's unlike, you know, that, that's not me. As you all know, um, I usually reply to all comments, so hopefully I can back, get back into that part again to do that. And um, what I didn't realize was in all this time that I hadn't posted videos, I only lost two subscribers. So that's amazing. I've still got over 800, and that's great. So let me see if I can at least, you know, to some of you guys, even if it's only 10% of, of you guys, can, can get some stuff that, that you will enjoy. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Please leave a comment. And on what you guys have been up to. And I'll see you guys around in the next one. Take care. Cheers.